hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video i'm gonna be trying more of rosalind's poly gel i'm super excited because they sent me some of their bricker tubes and the reason i'm so excited because these are not the usual tubes these are the 80 ml tubes and they are so huge so i wanted to compare them to the 30 ml from a cart when i first got the 30 ml tube from a cart i was like wow these are huge compared to the 50 ml but now comparing the 80 to the 30 ml it's just like wow these are so humongous i feel like these poly gels would last you so so long so let's just go ahead and get right into the um well not unboxing because i already unboxed it but i just opened it and they both came sealed and then here are the swatches i think this is the fastest i've ever swatched poly gels on my channel um but yeah these are the colors i did pick these out um i just picked out a white and a pretty pink because i feel like those are two colors you can always use the tips i'm going to use in today's video are the triple xl from not polish when i did purchase these i did use my own discount code and if you guys are interested in purchasing anything from not polish you can use my discount code which will save you 10 percent off your entire order um, so yeah, I'm just picking out my sizes and tips are not the same so it did kind of take me a while to pick these out just because some sizes are not like the same as other um, brands or different nail tips if that makes sense. To apply the nail tips I'm going to be using my Stick It Nail Glue from Kira Sky. This has got to be my favorite nail glue. On my natural nails I did apply some cuticle oil and two layers of a top coat just because I do not plan on keeping these on. And when I did record this video, it was like really late. It was about, I think, like 9 o'clock, which it took a while to actually film this video. So I, I didn't want to keep these on. So just like always, I did use a pop-off method. And then I just applied my tips using the Kira Sky Glue. And I said it's my favorite because even though this glue is like really strong, like it sticks really good and it has like a really good adhesion. Even when I use my peel-off base coat, it just pops off so good. Like it's so weird but like i love it so much now for the application i am starting with that pearl pink and i'm just doing a full coverage on my pinky nail and i'm not going to be doing a full like in-depth tutorial on how i apply my poly gel just because i want this video to be more of like a chill type of video but if you are interested in seeing anything like that i do have other videos on my channel already so feel free to just browse through any of my poly gel applications i'm pretty sure i'm explaining it in any of those so yeah i do have more of those videos check those out if you would like to but i'm just applying them doing the 2b method once i get the first layer on which is the coverage for the tip i go in and add another bead at the nail bed area and this is going to be building up my apex to build up the apex i just place a bigger bead like right there where the apex is going to be and i just make sure to situate my cuticle area first and then i start to blend the rest of it down into the nail to create like a smoother surface i do not mess with the part where my apex is going to be as you can see i don't really know how to explain it but you guys see what i'm doing like i'm not touching the part where my apex is i just situated my cuticle to get that looking really nice and then i just blend it the rest down into the um, rest of the nail now moving on to my ring finger i did decide to do a um, french tip for this nail and i wanted to do it a little bit different i've always wanted to try this but i only see it being used with like acrylics so i'm just going in and doing my french tip just like i usually would which i'm going to be doing the um classic oval round type french tip i'm using the body of my brush to kind of get that shape um i want this to be like really tall so for this technique um once i get my foundation down i do cure that and then go back in with a lot more poly gel and i said i'm doing it different just because usually i would go in and do the french tip and then kind of um foul it just a little bit um at the tip color and then encapsulate but the way I'm always seeing it being used with the acrylic is just to overlap the French tip and just file it down to a crisp French design, if that makes sense. So I decided to do that. And I think this is my favorite 
My new favorite way to do French tips, like it came out super nice and it was actually pretty easier. Um, I did try not to encapsulate any of these nails because like I said, I did start this video late. And this is how the French tip is looking. I think it looks very nice. I did try to get it as straight as possible because usually when I do French tips, even if it is looking like centered, it's always going off to the side. So I just made sure it was centered and now I'm taking my file. I'm just gonna clean this up and make it a little bit more neater. When doing this, I add most of the pressure, well not most of the pressure, all of the pressure, like sideways towards the poly gel. I don't wanna file too much into the nail tip just because it will break if I make it too thin. Yeah, this is what it's looking like and so I'm just wiping that off with some alcohol just to see exactly where I'm at and if I need to do any more filing I did do it off camera I can't sh I'm not sure if I did do more filing but but once I was satisfied with it I'm just going in with the white and just adding it in the remaining spaces and like I said I did want this to be like really thick because I basically I'm just building up the nail with the color so that I didn't have to encapsulate and so when I'm doing the white, I just make sure to pat it in all of the creases, get it like really packed in there so that once I file, I don't have any gaps and I'm just going to file over this entire nail once I'm done to reveal like that really crisp look. This was my new favorite way of doing French tips. I really loved it. I really enjoyed it. I'm just going to go ahead and fill this into the rest of the nail. One thing I do want to say before I go on um, this poly gel was a little bit like softer than I'm used to. I have used Rosalind's poly gel on my channel like several times and I never really had this problem. It's kind of warm where I live so I do think maybe that had something to do with it and it was kind of warm in my room as well. So maybe that the temperature has something to do with it but I did have to keep chasing the pink color around my cuticle area and it was just so annoying. And that's why I always say I love to use like a stiffer poly gel because it stays exactly where you put it. And also another thing before I go, I did want to go ahead and do my featured comments. So these are today's featured comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and commenting on my last video. If you would like to be one of my featured comments, all you have to do is leave a comment under this video or be the first to comment and maybe you'll be in my next video. And also another thing I did want to mention is that the second giveaway winner still has not come forward to, to claim their prize. Um, I don't know why this is stressing me out because it's like... If you entered the giveaway, um, I said I was going to post the winner at a certain time, a certain day. I feel like people just don't follow directions and it kind of annoys me. So I don't know if I'm just going to wait for the second one or pick a new winner. You guys comment down below. It's been like a few days. I'm not sure how many days, but it's been a few, like three or four. And I posted that winner on my community tab as well as the first winner. So let me know what I should do to continue. Should I pick a new winner? I wanted to do like a split nail going down the sides. So for the right side of the nail, I'm going to be doing the pink. And on the left side, I'm going to be doing the white. And it's not really much to explain. I'm just going to be making the poly gel straight going down the side and just filling that in with the second color. If you are still watching, I do want to say thank you so much. And if you haven't liked the video already, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button. If you are not subscribed, I have noticed most of my viewers are not subscribed. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Once I did cure this, I am just going to wipe it down before moving on to the second color. If you hear the bird outside the window, please ignore it. I was going to wait for it, but I'm impatient. 
So before I add the white color to the other side of the nail, I'm just taking my hand file and just um, filing that line to make it a little bit more straighter and a little bit more crisp because like I said I am making these um, I am making like the application just a little bit thicker so that I don't have to encapsulate and I just wipe it down and now I'm just going in with the second color on the other side of the nail And this is what the middle finger is looking like. It looks so thick. I cannot wait to get into the filing part. But so for the index nail, I just decided to do it another full coverage pink. I love this pink. It was really pretty. And as you guys know, like I just always gravitate toward, oh my gosh, I can never say that right. I always gravitate towards the pink poly gels or like the pink colors, the pink acrylics. I just love pink nails and I just think they're so pretty and girly and that's exactly what I was going for in this set. Um, I know you saw the thumbnail but I cannot wait to show you guys how these nails turned out in the process of me adding all my charms. And another thing I was having trouble with is I did notice this poly gel was not curing. Um, like it wasn't really curing right. I did experience this on like the other nails. So off camera, I was doing another French tip on my thumb. And as you can see, I, at this point, I was filing the French tip so I can make it a little bit more crisp. But as I was filing, like it just popped off and it wasn't cured. Um, this layer is not even that thick. I don't know why it wasn't curing. Maybe I cured it for 30 seconds. Like that is the usual time I cure it for. But I'm not sure why it wasn't curing. So once I placed it back on, I did put it in the light for like 60 seconds or a minute and a half, I believe, just to make sure the light penetrated all the way down to the bottom layer. And then I just wipe these nails down with some alcohol and then I go in with my filing. As always, I love to start off with my hand file. And when using poly gel, I do like to just use my hand file. Um, I try to get everything with the hand files just because I do have a lot more control over it. I go in underneath, get the size, and then also foul over the surface of the nails. A little bit later when moving on to my next finger, I'm going to show you guys of me filing. I attempted to do the box shape inspired by a nail tick on Instagram. Her ad is Bay Baby Val. And like she's really known for like this box type shape and I just wanted to try it and I did want to try it because I think it's so cute and I love the way she do her nails and yeah so I did attempt to try it. I did find myself filing off a lot of the product just because you have to like file the surface of the nail like down really low to get that box look. The filing took me a little bit longer than I usually would when I'm doing poly gel nails. For some reason like poly gel nails to me are so easy to file but since I did have like a lot of trouble with this poly gel not curing and they popped off like at some point all of my nails ended up popping off. Um, so that was really annoying and it did take me a little bit longer. Um, in the end, I didn't end up doing my thumb and I'll get to that more like once I get to that part. So yeah, I did move on to my ring finger just because I was really, really ready to see how this French tip was going to look once I fouled down. And this is also the nail I did decide to attempt the box shape on. And since I did love it, I did go back and do the other ones so like i mentioned all of my nails did pop off but here is just me reapplying it with some nail glue before i did apply this i went back in with some cuticle oil and two layers of top coat and then once i had that back on i just went in and started to file like normal
filing the free edge of these nails can be so difficult especially when you have longer nails but while I'm on this nail if you look closely you can see there's like little holes on the nail and when I filed over it that is just where the poly gel did not cure completely and like I said I don't know why this was happening but I did have some areas like this over just about all of the nails but I just went ahead and filed like normal and once I get that down, I am going to wipe it off just to see if I'm done filing or if I need to file a little bit more. And it's a little area on like the right side where, I, where it looks like I need to file a little bit more. But I think that is just where the poly gel kind of sunk into that hole where the poly gel wasn't cured. After finishing up my shaping and filing, I also did buff using that cuticle oil method and this is how the nails are looking so far. And as you can see, here's what those little holes look like in my ring finger nail. You can't really see it that much, but the white, it looks kind of messed up, but I will be covering up this with some pearls, so I wasn't too worried about it. And here's my thumb. So my thumb popped off like twice and it was kind of difficult to file because the poly gel in the inside of like the tip it was still kind of soft. I don't really know how to explain it, but it was just like not curing no matter how long I put it in the light. So I just decided not to reapply it and I'm just going to be doing four of my nails. So this is what it looks like. I love that box shape. You can't really tell. I feel like you can tell mostly on my ring and maybe my middle finger. But yeah, that's what it's looking like. And now I'm going to be going in with some top coat. After I did file, I did wash my hands and then go over the nails again with some 91% ice purple alcohol to make sure they are fully cleansed. And now I'm just going over all of the nails with top coat. As I always love to say, I do love to go over the nails with top coat before I go in with my charms. It just makes it a lot easier for me. Then once I add my top coat, I'm going to cure for 30 seconds in the light. So for the nail decorations, I do have some charms and some pearls I wanted to use for my nails. So as you guys know, these charms here are trending. These are the Melody and I don't know how to say the other character's name, but I believe it's like Karami or something like that. Like these are very popular. I got these from AliExpress. I didn't think these were going to be a little bit bigger, but turns out I actually like that these are like mini versions of the charms because you can put as many as you want and it's not too big or too extra. I will have those linked down below as well as these pearls. I got the pink pearls from Amazon, which will be linked in my Amazon storefront. And then the white pearls came in my Model 1's advent calendar. So I'm just pouring them out on my paper towel so that I can easy, easily access them. And then later on, I did want smaller sizes. So I did have to pour all of them out because the smaller ones just kind of sunk down to the bottom. But I'm just going to be using my jelly tips glue um, to apply my charms and pearls. So I did want to disguise this Cricut um, line going down the center of my nail. I did plan on doing this design anyway, but it just made it even better since I did want to disguise that Cricut line closer to my cuticle area. So I'm just going to be placing different size pearls going down the nail. And then I also added two of the Melanie charms in there. So this one is the full body and then the second one I'm going to add closer to the tip of my nail is just going to be like the just the head charm and I thought it was so cute. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this and let you guys enjoy this process.
Once I was satisfied with the placement, I went ahead and cured that into my light and then also taking my jelly nails, um, rhinestone glue. I'm just going to be outlining my French tip again and I'm going to be outlining this with some pearls. So I did start to go ahead and outline this, but once I got on like the first two or three, I realized they weren't like the smallest sizes. I wanted these to be like the really, really, really small sizes. So I did have to pour out all of them because like I said, these smaller ones were like at the very bottom. So I took the first two off that I added and then I'm just going in with these smaller ones alternating the colors between the white and the pink. And the closer I get to like the centered part of the um, French tip, I am going to go up in size. I believe I went up like two sizes because I did want the bigger one to be like right at the, t right at the center of the French tip. And you'll see exactly what I mean. I'm just going to let this part play out because I just kind of want it to be like more of like a chill video. So I'm just going to let you guys enjoy finish watching me add on my charms and pearls. And then I will come back once I have all of my nail decoration on. So this is what the nails are looking like so far and I am loving these nails like I just love how these look. So before I add my cuticle oil I just have to clean up this mess and I was so not looking forward to adding all of these pearls back into this bag. I actually wanted to separate them from sizes and put them into the little 10 gram jar containers that I got from Amazon. Since I did rip the bag and like I can't really close them so I actually may do that just separate them from sizes and put them into the little containers. But yeah, now I'm just adding on my peach cuticle oil from Not Polish. And like I always mention, this is my favorite cuticle oil. It's so nourishing. And I'm just going ahead and getting that everywhere so my hands aren't ashy. And this is how the nails turn out. So, so pretty. I absolutely love how they turn out. And I can actually kind of see like the box shape to them. And I really love it. I actually may apply this to a lot more of my future nail sets. I love how these charms match so perfectly with this poly gel. Um, I didn't have any problems with the poly gel except for the pack 
except for the fact that it was a little bit softer i do think my room temperature or like the weather like the temperature had a lot to do with it but other than that i do love this poly gel and i love the colors i love that they have bigger um tubes now i feel like these 80 ml tubes will last so long and also i feel like it's great for beginners for someone who wants to practice a lot like you don't have to keep going and buying different smaller tubes like these 80 ml tubes are so big i love how the pearls look with the charms like everything is just so cute girly and kawaii like i love me some kawaii nails and i actually love how these charms were like mini sizes like i really love that even though i was expecting them to be a little bit bigger i'm like so obsessed with these nails like they're just so pretty and if i'm honest to me they look like something i would see strolling on my explore page on instagram that's how much i love them but yeah i will have these linked down below let me know what you think of this nail set don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye